Hello everyone, happy Sunday! It's your Gibbs here, we're live streaming Otherworld 2, Omens of Summer. Hello to everyone in the chat. Welcome, welcome. It's a cool winter day. Well, actually, technically it's not even winter yet, but it's definitely cold up here in Toronto. Uh, it's in the negatives. Negatives in the Celsius. Uh, well, probably like, I think I saw on the sign when I was driving back home, 31 Fahrenheit. That's pretty cool, 31 Fahrenheit. So anyways, we're gonna play this game. I had something else in mind, but uh, I should have probably did a better job preparing for that. Maybe, depending on your mood, at the halfway point, maybe we'll switch over to something a little bit more festive. But it's time for us to continue on in the series. Hopefully all of you can hear me just fine. Uh, again, welcome, welcome. For those of you that are gonna be watching this later on YouTube, uh, I live stream every Saturday. This week is a little bit different, but normally it's every Saturday at hitbox.tv slash your gibbs. All right, so I think we're good to go. Thanks, Ho, for letting me know that you can hear me. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's play. Let's find out what this is all about. So we finished up this first Otherworld last week, and of course this is a boom zap game. And this actually, I just noticed that this is a collector's edition. Oh, okay, I didn't realize I own that. But anyways, let's go. Let's play. So casual, expert, hardcore. Wow, there's no like average. It goes all the way from casual to expert. Uh, well, you know what? I'm a casual kind of guy, so here we go. Last spring, I moved to an old house in the countryside. I hoped for a quiet life, but instead I stumbled upon another world hidden beneath our own. It was a world of dark fey magic few had ever seen. I met a young girl named Fiona, who was trapped by an evil creature called the Shade. I saved her, and now Fiona is under my care. Even as I hug Fiona close, I know she is still in danger. The Shade wants to cast an eternal winter and rule over our world. Fiona and all other human beings born with magic stand in his way. Fiona told me her teacher, Ms. Thomas, can help her stop the Shade. We've arrived at Fiona's old school to look for her. I can only hope we're not too late. Hey, it's a craven. Oh, should I click here? No, I want to watch the craven fly across. A murder of crows. I should really say a murder of cravens. I think that's a spelling mistake. Alrighty then, we are playing Otherworld. Would we like a tutor tutorial? I can actually say it properly. Yes, tutorial. No tutorial. Uh, how do I feel today? <clears throat> Excuse me, I think we're going to say new. No. no to you tutorial. You can't make me. So right off the bat, this does actually feel very similar in terms of the game engine for the first game. Because I remember this little check mark here. Uh, oh, I do have a guide. I guess we can... Go back to the guide here. Uh, very artistic here. I, I don't. Hopefully, none of that is a spoiler at this point. We do have our book, which is very similar to the first game's book. Gain the sight. Talk to Fiona. Shows us our different characters. Fiona. The crest. Okay, that's interesting. The shade. And Miss Jean Thompson, Fiona's trusted teacher. Until recently, I'd lived an ordinary life, and then I met a little girl named Fiona. I rescued her from an evil fae called the Shade, and now Fiona is under my care. Ever since I bought an old house in the countryside, I've stepped into another world. A world full of magic and color and danger. All the things I never believed were real. Alright, cool. Sounds really good. Let's talk to Fiona then. We have to find my teacher, Ms. Thomas. But first, you need the sight to be able to see magic and fey creatures. See that plaque? There's more to it than meets the eye. If you can restore that plaque to its true form, you'll be able to see the school's true form as well. It's a magical crest. Okay. Ooh, what's this? It's a leaf. Now, in the first game, the collectibles were little fairies. Uh, I'm not sure if that's changed here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should actually look at the guide. Does it show... 
collectibles. 15, blah, blah, blah. What? I don't even know how to read this. Okay, I'm not sure what the collectibles are. But anyways, <laughs> let's go. Get back into my car. Back when I had the sight. This was more than just a piece of paper. My dear Fiona, help is on the way. Just stay where you are. If you can, send word to the scarecrow at school as well. Miss Thomas. Alright. Works for me. It's a wheel. It's a glove box. If you can restore that plaque. Okay, got it, got it. Restoring the plaque. Got it. Ooh, okay, so that's fall. We need summer, winter, and spring. Hmm. Where the heck is everything? Good question. Oh, thanks for following, Tiger Eye. Thank you. Welcome. We are, of course, live streaming Other World Omens of Summer, so I guess we're going to have a bit of a summer feel to this game. Uh, am I actually supposed to really find all three of these things? Looks like it. Let's see, where are they hiding? I don't have a lot of places for me to go. Oh, there's a winter stick. Let's go here. Put that winter stick there. Uh, what other shapes do we need? Maybe, uh, I'm not sure what that shape is. Does anyone see one of the two shapes I'm looking for? It wasn't in the car, was it? No, I don't think so. I need the key! Oh no! I think I played the beta for this when it first came out. Uh, and that's about all. I mean, this game is relatively old, right? I'm not sure if it's a year old or two years old. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. I need two things. I need this thing and whatever this thing is. Something that looks almost like a flower. Yeah, here we go. Oh, apparently it's in the back seat. <laughs> okay. There's our flower. And there's our teddy bear. Fiona's family. Poor Fiona. I kept looking at this. Wow. Okay, there's a key then. We'll go to our glove compartment. Maybe that's where the fourth thing is? Oh, it's a shell. Okay. See, I wouldn't have thought that the objects to get in the gate would have been in the car. But, hey, who am I to say? Let's go. Uh-oh. Somebody's throwing black ink on her camera lens here. Oh, well, This is the gift of sight. The ability to see the magical world. The evil we sensed is probably looking for Ms. Thomas. We have to stop them before they find her. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's fairly legit. Maybe Fiona had them on her persons and then kind of left them in the back seat, I guess. Whoa. I think that's going to be our handy dandy map. Let's have a little peek here. Okay, so this is a little different than the map from the last game top-down map that's cool let's see we have a little nest over here got ourselves a handy wrench ready for adventure time Ooh, all sorts of goodies here oh seven of those wow this is the gift of sight okay I heard you the first time Fiona so a wrench Find 15 crows. Holy moly. Oh, I gotta rotate this? Oh, that's neat. I think they mean cravens, but that's okay. I'll let them get away with that spelling mistake. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where does this go? Right there. Not sure how that helps me. I need five more crows? Are you crazy? Wow. Oh, I see. They're actual silhouettes, too. Huh. Two more crows. Let's go. There's one there. Oh, 
Where is the last crow? It's right there. Alright, perfect. Oh, speaking of yummy. Uh, it began when feathers fell from the sky. I felt a strange foreboding, just like when I first met the shade. What's with the Raven Man? I'll follow you from now on. <laughs> My locket can help give us hints along the way. Let's go. Oh, that's neat. Does everyone remember the locket from the first game? It looks like the shade is put on a few years or something. But yes, no, the art style is looking really nice. Uh, it's, it's. Uh, I, I think it looks really well done. What I was gonna say about Yummy is I actually have a peppermint mocha coffee today. What's this? A little girl looking for Miss Thomas. Do not worry, Master. I'm sure I will find her first. Fool. Do not underestimate the power of that mortal. She has stopped me once before. I'm still weak. You must fight for me, Crow. <laughs> the Crow? No, that's a craven. You got that wrong, Shade. Find the teacher. Take the girl and bring them both to me, or else you will have no place in the eternal winter. Now go. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I don't remember the shade having a voice, so... Interesting. What? Wow, this is like my worst nightmare. Holy cow. Select the birds to find out their patterns. Match birds with the same patterns to win. Oh. Okay. Yay, I win that one. Okay. All these cravens. Getting into our personal space here. There we go. Yeah, cravens all over the place of so this game. We're Resilient only little worms, aren't you? I will not fail, my master. Come and enter the school if you dare. Ooh, I don't think I want to go towards the school. Thank you very much. So we've already got a bunch of collections going on here. Two out of seven, one out of five. Okay, well... Uh, hmm. Guess we should go forward. Yikes. It's a straw hat. That's interesting. Why is there a straw hat up there? It's tightly bolted in. This school bus has seen better days, that's for sure. More of those? Sure, why not? Cool bunny. Locker. I've forgotten my locker combination. I think I wrote it somewhere in my classroom. Why is there a water fountain right here? It seems like a strange place for it. A memorial to Fiona after she disappeared. Wow. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have the same collectibles. Little fairies. If you do spot a fairy collectible, please let me know in the chat so that I can... Uh, Make sure to capture as many as I can. That would be super helpful. Thank you. I don't consider collectibles spoilers, so... Oh, I think we're gonna hopefully not have any zodiac signs. Uh, Tiger, I hopefully we're... <laughs> I don't know this game, so it's gonna be a blind playthrough. But I've got my fingers crossed that we don't have any zodiac business to take care of here. The Craven has blocked my way. What's that depression on its head? Whoa, what's with this cool crowd of stuffed animals? Uh, drag the stuffed toys to their respective hutches. 
Okay. Uh. Dirty ears? <laughs> what? Blue eyes. Snowy. Okay. Floppy, that's probably you. Cottontail is you. And your dirty ears, apparently. Or no. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, sorry, that's dirty ears. And you're floppy. What? Darn that craven, now all the beautiful hutches are destroyed. Ah! Yes, I'm a, a Libra. I'm sure I've mentioned that once or twice. So I got six out of seven of these little beads, which is going to be for this game over here. I feel bad for this swing here, all tied up. Let's have a look at our map. Let's see how useful it is. Oh, Sonny, you're a Libra too? Ah. Welcome to the club. The cool club. <laughs> Does anyone actually believe in that? You know, Libra should hang out with Leos or, you know, any of that kind of astrological stuff. The theory behind all that. Mortal enemies and all that kind of good stuff. I know a lot of people, uh, Put a lot of weight on that. Okay, so I have a wrench here and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, maybe right here. It's fine for entertainment purposes, but you know, obviously people are entitled to do what they want to do. Hello, Hammer. Little army man right there, all ready to rock and roll. Somebody's backpack. Ooh, a little mouse. I don't recall there being a hidden object scene like this in the first game. This feels a little modern. For the times, like, today's scenes are pretty much like this too. Like, the art is really nicely done. Okay, there's a spoon. A star, a hat, and a mask. Now I just need a mask. Hmm. Oh, they hit that one. Oh, wow. So what does this mean? What does the eyeball mean? Oh, look, Fiona's taking a nap. <laughs> She's tired from giving me that hint. Leave the bus? So I... Huh. Old and rusty, I need something to help loosen the zipper. Fair enough. Let's get these boards off of here. Whoa, we're just gonna go and smash our way in? Sure, why not? The school looks bleak, reflecting the dark spell it has fallen under. It will take time before the light finds its way in. Okay, we'll gather up more feathers. Ooh, an old storage cabinet. I can jimmy this open with something thin, like a ruler. Who goes there? Holy cow! That guy that scared me! Voice. Fiona? It's me, the Scarecrow. I tried to protect the school, but the shade trapped me here. I can help you defeat the crow if you get me out of here. Hmm. Ah, uh, Mr. Scarecrow, you scared me. I've lost my rake, my hat, my arm, and my eyes. Return them to me, and I can chase the crow out of our school. My rake, my hat, my arm, and my eyes? Wow, this guy's had a bad day. I was able to swipe this off the crow before he and the shade imprisoned me. I hope it's useful. Oh, he definitely scared me. I didn't expect there to be a talking thing attached to this bulletin board. School projects. Okay, a gem. I know where that's for. For that scarecrow's head. And then we have another... Oh, that's seven out of seven there. The Craven emblem is missing an eye. 
So don't forget, if you do see the fairy, like there's the fairy there, just let me know. Give me a general idea of where it is in the scene, that would be super cool. So shall we do the Craven Forehead, or shall we do the Kid's Puzzle? Do you guys in the chat, let me know what you think we should do. Should we do the Forehead of the Craven, or the Kid's Toy thing over here? The kid's Puzzle, Puzzle, I got a Craven. Alright, so it looks like <laughs> got a couple Craven votes and a couple puzzle votes. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I can't even do it? Wait, what? Oh, maybe I gotta take it off first. Alright, here we go. Now can I place the beads? No. Now can I place the beads? Oh no! I think... Why do I have memories of this? Wardfire, did you have to play this puzzle? Did you do this? I think you played this game, right? I'm having flashbacks of you playing this terrible puzzle. Oh no! Oh no! Yikes. Okay, so, uh, help me out here. What am I supposed to be doing? Like, which square goes to which uh, <laughs> yeah revenge for all my chat about zodiacs yeah yeah it could have been a little bit of a mistake but we'll see I'm trying to remember how this puzzle worked I remember okay so that's a tree there but, but, so all these ones that are kind of stone-like, they don't change. So, but this number system means something too. Um, have to follow how the beads go. There's like... Does this help me? Okay, take note of the gray beads which cannot be moved and compare them to the center column to find the correct sequence. Okay, so this is one. Alright, so one is the bottom right corner. Uh, so this was the bottom right corner which is a tree. Okay, so now we need a fish. Which is good. Now we need maple leaf, which is good, and a fire. Okay, number two, which is the top right corner. So for this one here, we need a tree, some corn, carrot, and a sunshine. Okay, perfect. Number three, which is top left corner. So this has got to be, I don't even know what that is, but this is a butterfly. That's a pear, and that's a beet. And then number four is bottom left corner. So this has to be a tomato. And this is water. There we go. Yay! It's just like, it, it, when you know what you're doing with that puzzle, it's straightforward. But it takes a few seconds to kind of wrap your head around <laughs> what they're asking. All right, here we go. Oh, a little nail file. The beak opened to show the greenhouse real lock. Well, that's no good. Yes, thank you. I'm actually quite proud of myself with that puzzle, too. But like I said, I mean, you can really thank Wardfire, because I remember her having struggles with that, and that puzzle, I'll never forget it. It's forever burned in my memory. Okay. Guess we're putting some things here, are we? Oh. Why is that not going? <laughs> what the heck? What's this? Why does that not fit? Okay, this is confusing. Uh, Alright, well, whatever. We're gonna go through here instead. 
It's so very nice of you to fall for my trap. Come here, little girl, and I'll have both you and Miss Thomas for my master. Okay, this guy is creepy. Creepy Craven here. Come here, little girl. <laughs> I don't want him to have you both. That's just wrong. Whoa. Hint. There is a pattern to which seals swap the emblems. Finding the pattern is crucial. Uh, okay. Interesting. I think. I'm not sure I understand what I'm actually able to touch here. Oh. I see. So I assume that has to go there. Oh boy. Uh. Okay, I'm not liking this puzzle at all. <laughs> what the heck? How am I supposed to get that in that position? Okay. Blue. Can this go here? No. This was, uh... Problematic. Um... Ugh, okay. Red. Purple. That's not even the right blue. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is gonna be painful. Hee hee hee. Let the suffering commence. I need that green one to go not even there at all. Yuck. Alright, well I think we're just gonna go ahead and let that one solve itself. But you know the beautiful thing is when my suffering is beyond my limits, skip button! Yay! Can never be too hard. <laughs> well, let's see here, what do we have over here? A chalk drawing of the scarecrow bound in chains. Can I erase this horrid thing? Not with a wrench, I can't. What do we have here? Ooh, ooh, who's gonna make a volcano with me? School project, let's go. Alright, I'll take you long stick. Got a choo-choo train here too. Train tracks, the engine itself is a missing. I got tape though. Does that matter? No. Darn. Yeah, th that particular style of rotating puzzle, I, I just don't have the patience for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't. The ones where you rotate three this way and two that way and then have to line up colors. No, thank you. Play for fun, right? I don't play to torture myself. It's supposed to be casual. I'm playing on casual. Alright, mister. What am I going to do here? I don't... Can anyone explain to me why this gem does not fit here? Because, uh, yeah... I just want to... More pieces here. Okay, tell me what to do here. Oh. I see. Apparently I have to go in order or something. It's a memory mirror. We use it to record important memories. Dark times are upon us. I must start placing my thoughts in here for future Faye to find. Fiona's gone missing and Miss Thompson has left. How long can I protect the school on my own? I think this is the Scarecrow's memories, right? Everyone else has left, but I will stay and fight. The eternal winter will not come on my watch. Ooh, ooh who's talking here? Memory mirror. I discovered a memory mirror which the Fae used to preserve their memories. It let me see the Scarecrow's thoughts about how Fiona and Miss Thompson both went missing. Why is the Shade looking for Miss Thompson so badly? Yeah, I could have used the tape there, for sure. 
Alright, so I, I don't have your arm, I don't have your hat, I don't have your rake. Uh, Scarecrow, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> He's looking for clues to Miss Thompson as well. I better speed up. Alright, speed up indeed. So, is there anything else I can do here or no? Don't think so. Uh, it's pointing to the right with a picture to a slide. Ooh, I want to play in the slide. A uh, stick is not going to help me with that suitcase or briefcase or whatever. I don't have the key to that lock. Well, let's look at our map. Let's see what we got here. Uh, there are still tasks to be done in this area. Ooh, we can fast travel too. So, oh, maybe our stick will help us? No. Oh, a bolt remains. Okay, fine. Yeah, he certainly did look like he was juggling, juggling books or something. He's the juggling craven. Yes, hello to you folks that are just joining in the live stream. Welcome, welcome. This is, of course, Otherworld 2. Omens of Summer. Not an omen, but omens. So we should be looking out for lots of omens. Now, who gets the feathers? Who wants them? Who needs them? We can probably tape it, right? Whoa! Okay, that worked better than I thought. So, now what are we doing? We're getting soccer balls. Fix that up there. Red dye. Okay, so we still got a few more ingredients to go. Let's see. A paper blade is lacking its handle. Whoa, there you go. A little chemical reaction just for funsies. <laughs> I mean, how many people have not did that experiment? That's so old school. Who gets this? Oh, there we go. No, that's not who gets that. School bus? And a scarecrow. Let's see here. Uh, oh, put that there. Apparently. A fixed poster. Not exactly sure how this is going to work. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Hmm. Well, we already knew how to do that. <laughs> I did it without your silly poster there. A locker combination. One, two, two. Like, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, you think 17 is enormous? 17 is a nice collection of great people. 17 people means that I can talk to everybody. <laughs> And I don't have to have the chat scroll past like it's some sort of ticker tape. Yeah, that tape did a wonderful job. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with this thing? I'm not exactly sure. Oh, wow, okay. That would be our locker code. Yeah, that's a fun experiment. I enjoy that. Was it baking soda and vinegar? I think that's what it is. Either that or baking powder and vinegar, I can't remember. So we have ourselves a, a locker combination. Let's see here. Let's go back outside to Fiona's locker. Three. A bunch of dots. Uh, three. It's Fiona's locker. I once dreamed locker. of a dreary, unnatural winter. Why, yes, of course people make volcanoes in school. That's like a middle school, grade school kind of thing. 
Oh, look at that. It's the UK Isles here. Uh, let's see. We've got Scotland, you've got Wales, you've got England, Ireland, and Northern Ireland there. Okay, I don't even know what you mean by I once dreamed of a dreary, unnatural winter. What the heck are you talking about, game? Oh, maybe he needs his rake. Okay. He needs his hat. I now have a key. In that dream, an evil and sightless fay ruled over us. Oh, okay. In that dream, an evil and sightless fay ruled over us. It all turned out to be real, and my parents were really worried. Hmm. I'm all alone now, except for you and Ms. Thomas, my teacher. She only used she's traveled all over Britain and is very knowledgeable. Yay for Britain! I sent a beautiful fey dragon to find Ms. Thomas. It left her a letter, which said I was in trouble. Now she's disappeared too. Her trail stops here. The Scarecrow is our only chance of finding her. And I have the key to the greenhouse, our next lead. We have the greenhouse key, yay! Let's go and open that greenhouse up. Open wide, Mr. Craven. Now we get to go to the greenhouse. Ooh. <gasps> Little buddy, where are you running off to? No, come back. I'll get you some nuts. Like I always have to do for squirrels. Ew, look at the ants. Ew. Where's the brush when you need it? Oh wait, no, that's for uh, spider webs. Oof, too far for me to reach. How about with a stick? Yeah, go stick. Okay, so what is this exactly? The crow must be behind this a dark force. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps a source of light will dispel it. Hmm. I think this uh, greenhouse needs a little bit of work. Yeah. Let's see. Well, we should go back to the classroom. And uh, erase the board to free the scarecrow. Ooh, I'm doing it. Oh, look at that. So if I move the eraser around, it doesn't do anything. I actually have to click the button. Interactivity, yay. Now, is this going to make me do every single... Th no, okay, good. So what do you want, mister? To those who see, I have these messages in the hope that those who wish to fight the evil shade will know they are not alone. I have been constructing a means to seal it away permanently. I have left a photo magically hidden in the principal's office. Find it, and we can work together against the great evil. Hmm. Oh, so this is a message from Miss Thompson, huh? That's kind of interesting. Now, Scarecrow guys, we can go give those back to the, our buddy here. There you go. I've lost my rake, my hat, my arm, and my eyes. Return them to me and I can chase the crow out of our school. Okay. I've returned his eyes, but there is more to be found. Now, I do recall something needing oil. Oh yeah, it was the zipper out here. Uh, I have a stick to go with Mr. Rake. 
That must be Scarecrow's rake. There you go, buddy. Or not. Oh, maybe that'll help me over here with all those yucky ants. No. No, no. I want to... Pour some oil on them and get a match. No, 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 no. That won't work. I can rake leaves in the playground? Okay. Let's do it then. Oh, wow, speaking of lighter. Thank you, lighter. So, now what can I set on fire? The pyromaniac in me is... Darn. No such luck. Now there was a lantern somewhere. I just don't recall exactly where. No, it wasn't back here. <laughs> All the bugs. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, generally speaking, I don't mind bugs, but... Sometimes the creepy crawly ones with... The ones with all those legs. Yuck. Those are the scary ones. So what am I going to be lighting up here? Fix the lantern in the greenhouse. Oh. That will... Definitely come in handy. I knew there was a lantern somewhere. Oil it up. And... There's no wick. There we go. Come on, lantern. We got work to do. Ooh, ooh, a sharpening thing. Okay. Once we get the shears. Okay, how do I make these ants go away? Give them a juicy lollipop, I think. Yeah, no, no, you can keep your centipedes to yourself. Thank you very much. See, I'm okay with bugs that have, two, you know, four or six legs, but once you started getting into, like, the dozens of legs, those are the ones I'm not keen on. So, should we do this? Where did I have to do the darkness thing? Hmm. Sure now. Oh, maybe I have to go back over here. Ah. Let's do this. Yay. Feathers. I got all of them. Fiona has disappeared. The wise scarecrow has urged me to go into hiding to keep the shade from finding me. I must hurry and find out about the origin of the shade. That way I'll be able to save Fiona. Okay. Alright folks, I am going to take a quick break right here. Uh, I'm going to actually stop the live stream. Uh, and uh, I'll be back in a minute or two. I'm just going to get myself... Well, I'm going to warm up my peppermint mocha. And uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> 